Disabling IPv6 is easy. Let's see why and how to do it on a GNU Linux system and on an open WRT router. There are several reasons to disable IPv6 on a server. One of these is that your network is predominantly IPv4 and you don't actively use IPv6. Another reason is security. By disabling IPv6 you avoid handling a separate firewall for this network stack which means no need to mess up with IP6 tables, for example. Another less important reason is possibly to have faster DNS resolutions. Disabling IPv6 on GNU Linux is straightforward. Just edit the etc sysctl.com file and add these lines. To apply the configuration, run sysctl-p etc sysctl.conf as root. Once you apply the configuration, you can check that the IPA command does not return IPv6 addresses. Now, command the IPv6 hosts in the etc host file and reboot. The IPv6 network stack should still be disabled after rebooting. If you are disabling IPv6 on a server, there is a possibility that some services won't like this change. OpenSSH, for example, is set up to work with both network stacks by default. For this reason, you need to change the address family and listen address variables. If you don't do this, you'll see some errors. Another program that has this problem is Unbound, a DNS resolver server. In this case, you must set do IP6 no in the configuration. Other apps have their own configurations. Read their manuals before disabling IPv6 on a system level. Something that has happened to my Android smartphone some time ago is that it decided to use the embedded IPv6 DNS server in an open WRT router connected to the network. Apparently, recent Android versions give priority to IPv6 DNS servers. This meant that the unbound DNS resolver I use in my network was ignored. Unfortunately, that led to problems in local name resolutions. The simplest solution in this case is to disable IPv6 on OpenWRC. This is achieved in a similar way to GNU Linux. All the steps can be done from the Lucy Web UI without needing a terminal. Just go to System, Startup, local startup and add these commands. Now reboot your router and check the interfaces tab. That's it for the moment. For more tips like these, comment and subscribe. Bye bye.